Right now at 5.30, mobile sports betting goes live. Tonight, a look at how this new industry could help every city and town in the state. Six companies are now authorized to take bets online in Massachusetts. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. I'm Lisa Hughes. In for Paula, the state is going to get a big chunk of new tax money and licensing fees. WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us where that money will go. Massachusetts, let's bet. <laughs> Cue the confetti. Wagering on your favorite sports team is now just a tap away. Betting apps like DraftKings went live today with a celebration in downtown Boston. I think Massachusetts is going to be the number one market per capita in the country, personally. DraftKings CEO Jason Robbins believes legalized sports betting will thrive in Massachusetts thanks to all the passionate sports fans we have here. I took the Red Sox uh, 78 and a half uh, wins. Massachusetts House Speaker Ron Mariano placed one of the first bets on his cell phone, $100 on the Red Sox. Lawmakers believe this new way of betting will not only eliminate sports bookies, but they estimate it'll generate more than $60 million in tax revenues each year. We can start with the MBTA. How about that? Uh, there's a whole bunch of things we can use the money for. Um, we. we we have to see how much we're going to recoup from this. We're optimistic that it's going to be huge. With the 20% tax on mobile wagering, the revenues will go to the state's general fund that's distributed to cities and towns. Just days ahead of tip-off of the NCAA tournament, industry leaders are optimistic people will take up this new way of betting. As we go into the fall, you're going to see a lot of betting on the Patriots, I think. You know, I'm optimistic. I think we're going to have a good season this year in uh, Patriots land. Um, of course, the Bruins. In Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.